Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys. So today I am going to show you all how to um, install a new outlet behind flat panel TVs. <laughs> Okay, so today's job is pretty easy. Um, I feel like you could get it done in 30 minutes or so. Um, this is what you're going to need for the job. Uh, you're going to need a wall box, a stud finder, a uh, voltage, voltage detector. Um, this is another voltage detector to make sure you've wired up your outlet correctly. This is a fish tape to fish your um, wire through. You need a drywall saw at the end. Um, you need 14 gauge wire um, to run from the outlet to the new one. Um, of course you need a wall plate, um, the outlet itself, and a drill and a screwdriver. So what we're going to do um, is run power from this outlet up the wall to your new outlet which is going to be located behind the TV. Um, so in new construction houses the wall boxes are <coughs> installed on a stud so um, you need to run your stud finder to find out which side um, the stud is on of the outlet. So you just run it across you can see that the stud to this outlet is on the right side. So that's perfect. So we have, um, this TV is also mounted on a stud. So from here to here are your studs. Um, so we can run this cord straight up and put the outlet um, anywhere in this area. So with my TV, um, it's got a self-articulating arm. It folds back like this and like this so you don't want to put the outlet in that area um, you either want to put the outlet up here um, to the side of it over here uh, but which is probably what we're going to do we'll probably put it right here okay so i've already marked where the wall mount the arm goes out to so we know that the outlet needs to be to the right of that. Um, your stud though is pretty close to that area. So you gotta make sure. So you already had a stud right there. Your stud's right there. So as you can see, we'll run it again just to be sure. Your stud starts in that area, goes through there. So you have enough room to put your wall box right there. All right, so you're gonna take your wall box and it needs to be somewhere in this area uh, in between where my TV wall mount and my stud is. You wanna flip it backwards. Um, you can use a leveler to make sure it's straight. Of course, it's gonna be behind the TV so it's not that big of a deal if it's not straight. All right, so that's straight. You just want to trace the top, the sides, and the bottom. You actually don't want to go above these holes because that's what's actually going to push up against the wall. So you draw the line in the middle and in the middle on the bottom also. All right, next where you outline the wall box, you just want to take your drywall saw, poke a hole, and cut that outline. Alright, so cut out the hole. Just pull the drywall right out. And there you go. We're gonna remove the wall plate. Um, Anytime you're dealing with electricity, make sure that you shut the power off. Um, I've already used um, my voltage detector to make sure that there is no power going to this outlet.
Okay, so these have push buttons in them. Um, most of the time they take way too long to get, so I'm just gonna cut them all off. And then after you remove those, all you have to do is unscrew the ground wire from the green screw. Next we're going to use our fish tape. Um, we're going to run the fish tape up through um, the outlet and uh, up into our new outlet above so we can pull the new wire down. Alright, so just fish the wire through the wall. Um, took a little bit longer than I expected because um, one of my showers is actually behind this wall. So it did the, when I put the fish tape up, it actually went straight through because the shower's there. Um, I actually had to run a string down, um, tie it to the fish tape, then pull the fish tape up, and then um, pull my 14 gauge wire down into the junction box. But, got it done. Um, you might experience the same issues. Uh, just takes a uh, slight modification. Um, so I'm gonna strip these down and hook them up, show you how to hook them up to the new um, outlet. Alright, so with the wire uh, around the wall, you just want to push it in, push this clip down um, in the wall box, push it up through. Alright, so once you got the wire through there, um, you just want to take these screws, these control the tabs um, that secure it into place with your drywall, and you just want to tighten them as far as they go. You can use a screwdriver or a drill. that's in there and secure we splice the wires up top I just want to show you uh, how to do it down below you just look for the 14 gauge wire um, put it in there pull out do the same for the hot wire With the wiring, you have your ground wire, your black wire is your hot wire, and your white wire is your neutral wire. All right, so next, um, you need to cut off, I don't know, a few inches of wiring, because what you're going to do now is you're going to join your old wiring to your new wiring, um, and run that um, into the outlet. So, you would also splice these. Next, you'll need to take these uh, these short wires. This is what's going to connect your new wiring to your old wiring. I've already done it with the neutral wire. Um, you just take these short extensions. Um, you're going to use use it to connect your old, or sorry, your new to your old, and then you just take a pair of pliers. Um, once you get them lined up, and you want to just twist those together real tight. for the neutral, the hot, and the ground wire. Make sure they're nice and tight. And next I'll do the ground wire. Alright, so here's my new outlet. What I'll do is uh, your bronze or gold is your hot wire, so your black wire connects to your gold. Then your white wire, your neutral wire, connects to the silver screws, and your ground wire connects to the green screw. What I'm going to do, there were, of course, four in this outlet. Some, some will only have two, but, uh, so this, this 
hot and this ground will go at the bottom and then these new ones that I'm running from my new um, wiring up ahead will go up top. All right, so I got everything wired up. Um, your hot wires, your neutral wires over here. Um, all I'm gonna do now is push it all back in. Um, line it up in the holes and then use a Phillips screwdriver to tie the outlet into the wall. I'm going to do the same up here to put the new outlet in. Uh, to make it easier, just take a pair of needle nose pliers and bend these wires back. That way they'll just hook around. And the same on this one. Um, black for your hot wire. tight on this side doesn't matter if you use the top or bottom screws tighten that one up ground wire Same thing, push that back into the wall. And go. It's easier to get it started and then tighten it up when you get it in there and straighten it up. Alright, so got the wall covers on, um, plugged it in. Turn the power back on, um, and as you can see, push it back. We have power and no cords running down the wall. So that's how you install a new outlet um, using an existing outlet to put behind a flat panel TV.